A common source of anxiety for parents is confusing gagging with choking. While this can be alarming, rest assured, your child's gag reflex is their defense mechanism against choking. When you start introducing solids around six months, your child's gag reflex is farther forward into their mouth. As they grow older, it moves farther back into their throat. Because of this, coughing and gagging and expelling food around are very common occurrences during those first few months of solids. Choking, on the other hand, means that either a piece of food has partially or completely blocked the windpipe. While gagging involves a lot of coughing and gargling, Choking may cause high-pitched sounds while breathing or may even be silent. If this were to occur, you need to act immediately. If your baby starts coughing or gagging, give them time to work through it on their own. Don't try and remove food with your own fingers, as you will risk to push that food further down and get it lodged into their windpipe. In extreme cases, your baby may even vomit. And remember, this is perfectly normal and an instinctual defense mechanism against choking. If your baby is in fact choking, a series of alternating back blows and chest thrusts may help dislodge the piece of food out of their airway. In cases that are serious, and that include the presence of unconsciousness, you will have to call 911 and do CPR. I do recommend to all parents, no matter the ages of their kids or developmental stages, to undergo a formal CPR training. This is one of those skills you wish you never have to use, but if the case arises, you'll be thankful you knew the proper technique. The main reason so many parents are nervous about starting solids is the threat of choking that hangs over every bite. But if you practice safe eating with your baby sitting upright in a high chair with well-cooked fruits and vegetables that are cut into appropriate pieces, the risk of choking is really low.